Hey, what's up YouTube? Greg here bringing you guys another video of Legacy Discord. So today, uh, I just want to have a discussion with you guys. Sit here, I'm going to do some plunder, I'm going to play a little bit, and maybe rant a little bit, but talk to you guys. Let you get to know me a little bit better. So I'm going to jump in this plunder real quick. Uh, maybe there's people in here that we can fight, maybe not. Let's see. No, not so far. Um, so there's been a lot of talk and discussion on my board uh, or on my page about free to play or pay to play and how much and this and that. And uh, I just want to go over that for a little bit to make a point. Uh, I don't care if somebody's free to play. I don't care if they're pay to play. Um, both are players and both are doing whatever they want to do in order to have fun. So if you're a free to play person and you're doing what you want to do, you're playing games and you're being patient, you're taking your time and you're doing it for free and I commend you, but I'm an impatient person. So, um, I would rather pay to get in one day, uh, instead of playing for free and get it in, you know, a week or two. That's just me. Uh, side note, yes, that guy's name is Clitoris, and he is the leader of the Meat Curtains. Not a joke. Um, so anywho. Come here, come here. Gotcha. <clears throat> Sorry, Clitoris. He's my buddy. I know him. So, uh, there's going to be, there's going to be people that trolls, haters are going to come on and be and make negative comments about people that pay to play. It really doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter at all. Um, if you want to pay to play, then do it. You know, this is paying to play to get it sooner is no different than subscribing to Amazon Prime. So you get free two day shipping. Why do you do that? So you can get your shit sooner because you're impatient and you want it now. Our whole our entire society is built off that getting stuff now. So there's nothing wrong with paying to play. If you have the money to do so, it's no one's say what you do with your money. And if I have some troll that wants to come on my page and make some negative comment, you know what? I'm just gonna delete your comment, block you from my page, and tell you to get fucked. Because I don't care, I don't have time for your negativity. So I'm gonna do what I want with my money when I want it. Now, the point of all this is I don't have anything against pay to play like I just said, but I do have against GT Arcade. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video about how they cheated me in the frame by frame analysis, then go watch it. But it is without a doubt. There is not a shred of doubt that I should have won that. I didn't even die and I lost the match, which is bullshit. And okay, so maybe the game glitched. That's fine. But then the game developers and creators need to have some method in order to contact them in order to make it right. But they don't. So. Yeah, they have, they have forums, that's fine. And they have email, okay. And they have their Facebook and Twitter, nice. But I have sent Twitter messages, tweets, I've sent emails, I've done YouTube videos, I've sent them links, I went on their forums, nothing, zero back. They don't care. Um, or they just, they're, it's a Chinese based company there's no US number for support. There's no way to contact them. Not even a European number for support. They don't care. And they're not going to fix it anytime soon. So I'm not going to give them another penny from me in order to support them when they can't even support their players. And I'm going to recommend the same thing to every player I can. Every person that I talk to in this game or through the YouTube channel, I'm going to recommend don't give your money to GT Arcade. Learn from me because when it comes down to it, they're not gonna support you, the player. They don't care. Um, now, is it is it curious that I lost to a Chinese player who had Warmonger wings when we have not done a cross-server event at all? Yeah, it's a little weird, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Maybe, maybe he wasn't hacked, I don't know, but he should not have had those wings and he should not have been able to beat me either. Like, he, in fact, he didn't beat me. Uh, when, the, when the match ended, I was twice his life and he wasn't attacking, it just ended without the timer even running out. 
So, I mean, it's undisputable. And if there was somebody at GT Arcade that would have had the ability to say, to look at it, say, oh yeah, you're right, we fucked up. What would have been to them to say, hey, you won, here's, the, here's, a, here's a set of warmongers, here's the title, it means nothing to them. It, it's a push of a button for them. You know, here's some extra diamonds for your trouble, we apologize. That would have been the right thing of any normal company if you'd have played any other iOS game that had some good support. They would have made it right, somehow. And then they would have made me a believer out of them, which I would come on here and say something completely different to everybody. Like, oh yeah, they're, that's a good company. They care about the players. They want to support us. But this is not the case, you know? So I just wanted to rant about that a little bit because obviously it's, it still fucking bothers me, one. And two, I'm going to spend every ounce of my energy to ensure that if I can get just one person to change their mind about spending money with them, then I'm going to be happy because they know they shouldn't get any more money from anybody, honestly. And, and until people, you know, pay what, uh, um, uh, make a stance with their wallet and put their money where their mouth is, they're going to continue to do the same thing and they're not going to fix the glitches and they're not going to worry about that shit because what's important to them is just the making the money. So learn from me, learn from my mistake. Don't trust this, this shady company. It's probably full of Chinese hackers getting information on all these different companies. Who knows? That's far fetched, but not entirely outside of the realm of possibilities. So, you're dead. Oh, you should have died. Now you're, ah, oh, fuck, you healed. So, um, next discussion. Um, so there's a lot of people are asking about pets on the, on the uh, comment section. And so there's a, there is a misunderstanding that if you have a red pet that's one star, that it's better than a six star epic gold pet. Or not epic, but a legendary gold pet. That is not the case, let me tell you. That's not even close to true. And uh, I can show you, as soon as we get out and plunder, and get, out, get done with this boss, I can show you that it's not, that it's not even close to the case. The, Come on, come on. Yes, he got it. Nick of time. The um, the possibility of of that even even remotely being true is insane. So whoever's telling you, either in your guild or in the game, that that is the case, believe me, it's not. So what after this, what I'll do is I'm gonna go and uh, into to deathmatch and I'll challenge somebody and I'll, we'll, we'll kind of mark where how much life it takes, how long it takes, we'll mark my BR and then I'll go wipe my six or reset my six star center. I'll have a three star freezy and I'll try to max that freezy out with all everything that I get back from the center and we'll, we'll go from there. Um, but I promise you, it's not gonna, my, my BR is gonna drop, because I've already done this, my BR is gonna drop, and I'm not gonna perform any better. In fact, I'm gonna perform slightly worse. Now, the skills, the pet skills they have it, that have the 60 second cooldown, those are better. Those are always, almost always gonna be better. Um, but, my center pet has an attack skill that increases my attack, and my, my Freezy has a defense skill to just increase my defense. So obviously I'm gonna kill whoever it is faster I'm trying to kill um, with my center than I am with my Freezy. But just to dispel any rumors, I'll show it to everybody, let you guys see, make your own assessment, and uh, hopefully this helps you to make a better make a better decision when it comes of, um, in terms of uh, selecting your pet okay and also a side note uh, an easy way to get a six star pet is to get the zoomok um zoomok shards are easy to get you can get them from uh, you can buy them with wild souls um you usually buy them in packs of five so you can buy them you know probably a couple maybe 10 to 15 sh uh, fragments a day 
depending if you're lucky. Uh, and if you've been saving up a lot of wild souls, because it's 2,000 wild souls. But even then, if you if you only have exactly what you've earned, you know, every every two days, you can buy 15 shards. So that's, you know, if you do the, you do the, um, the ice fire field, you get all 3,000 shards, or 3,000 wild souls, excuse me. And uh, for two days, at 6,000. Zumok is, you know, 2,000 for five fragments. That'll be 15 every two days. Uh, or if you just save up and then go through and try to reset over and over again until you get them. It's definitely possible. So if you're looking for a legendary pet that you want a six star, he's probably the best one to do without having to pay anything. Um, other ones you can get just from different events. So, man, old Clitoris is not giving up, which is good. We're actually, he's he's getting some, some kills and we actually have somebody to fight now. So, let's see who else here. I don't have my people here today on, on Plunder. This is gonna be a little bit of a long video because this will be the entire Plunder. I had this conversation and then a little bit afterwards to show you it on the pets, which is fine. You guys be alright. There he is, he's back. On a side note, I've been playing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and holy fuck, that game is rad as fuck. It is awesome, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, it's already got its hooks in me. I've only played it for maybe three hours max, um, but it, it, it's very addicting. I could see how this is gonna be a top, a top PlayStation exclusive game. Probably the best one for PlayStation 4 and, you know, arguably the best PlayStation exclusive that's come out for any console, any PlayStation console. Some people would argue uh, The Last of Us. The Last of Us is also a fantastic game. I'd say it's on par with The Last of Us. Um, although I haven't finished it yet and I have to see the story because the story on The Last of Us is undeniably amazing. So. But if you are interested in watching that, then feel free, uh, jump on my channel, subscribe, and uh, you'll, you'll see notifications anytime that uh, I do a, a live stream on YouTube while I'm playing. So that's, the, that's currently the game I'm playing on PS4. Um, this Friday, the Switch, I'll get the Switch in the mail. Uh, I'll do an unboxing video and uh, have a discussion with a buddy talk about the switch, the, the construction of the system, our impressions so far, and then hopefully I can start streaming Legend of Zelda as soon as uh, I get that up and running. So I'll be, I'll be streaming those two games as well for you, the viewers, to enjoy. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what I'm currently doing. If you have a PlayStation 4 and uh, you're interested in, you, you're thinking about getting the game, I highly recommend it. It's worth it. Get the game. Get it. It's definitely worth it. How do you know he's right side? I just killed him, dick. Tell me he's right side, like I don't know. So now, since this guy's, uh, Krev's pretty strong. Um, the guy, Clitoris, he was in our guild, his name's Krev. He was Krev's tool. And he's pretty high. And I'm probably one of the only ones that can kill him. Uh, besides, besides player who used to be king, but he's not even trying to kill him. So it puts it on me. So I have to make sure to keep eye on him and see where he's going to, to prevent him from trying to kill any, 
any of the bosses. Luckily he didn't. Got him. He wasn't able to heal. <clears throat> I don't think he's gonna go up top. It doesn't make sense for him to go up top since uh, we're all done here. Cause he'd be up there by himself. He wouldn't be able to get any kills. And he sure as hell wouldn't be able to kill the boss in time. Tell you what, he is actually spicing things up, and making it a little more interesting. Making our guild actually have to work for winning a plunder because with fours, anyone did come in there, they were, they were so weak because we had all the top players that it wasn't even a concern. Usually like a, a one hit kill or two hit kill. So they just come in and run for their life. Having someone come and actually spice it up is actually kind of fun. Making us have to work for it. I like it. <laughs> okay, last boss. And then I can get on to showing you guys some stuff about pets. Pets, pets, pets. So what kind of content do you guys want to see? Obviously I'm still doing these videos here and there. Uh, Legacy Discord. Uh, I just did a review video for a game that I streamed. I'm doing my streams. Um, is there anything else that you guys want to see? So let me know in the comments below. You can also follow me on my Twitter, uh, at GamerGreg84, that's at GamerGreg84. I usually go on there and post uh, my videos as well. And, and also before I do like streams or anything like that, I will go on there and send a note that I'm going to start streaming, you know, set game, whatever the game is. So. Come on, damn it. You get away. Not for long. That's just enough time to buy it. I will kill the boss before he gets back. Time to do some pets. <clears throat> no, no. Oh, I'm gonna give you guys a review. I'm gonna go on the Apple iTunes store and destroy you. So you wanna stop asking me, I promise you. Okay, so currently I have 22,760,000, all right? So let me go in here, raw menu, let's go to pets. Center. So when you do rebirth, what it does is it sets the level and the boost rank down to one. And all the materials you use to get there are returned to you. So 
He is at 254,000, okay? So it's around 22,760, 254,000. Rebirth, confirm. So, let's get her up. I don't... So as you see, it went from 254,000 to 218,000. Now I'm gonna deploy. Okay, she's at, she's in. And I'm at 22,515,000. So I dropped 200,000. And that's a three star rank pet. Okay. So just to, to show you guys, like, it's, it's not better. All right. Uh, whoever's telling you that is full of shit and tell them they're fucking retarded if they tell you that. And you say Greg said so. That's cool with me. I'll take the blame. So I usually, when I fight this round against him, I can usually beat him, I think it starts at 99. Yeah, it starts at 99. I can usually beat him at the 90 second mark. If I have center. So it took me to 86 this time, okay? Because I lost the ability to, um, I lost the ability to uh, get that attack boost from Sinner's from uh, pet skill. So if you look at the pet skills, here's a pet skill. So her pet skills increase the player's defense by 4% plus 600, lasting for 15 seconds, the cooldown 60 seconds. Whereas, my sinner was crazy how are you? So increase my player's attack by 1% plus 200, elemental attack by 3% plus 400. Also, this lasts for 15 seconds, pull down 60 seconds. Okay, so the percentages are, are lower, obviously, because it's a purple skill, not a legendary skill. If you look at their skills over here, you can see if I would have had the same skill, what it would have been. That's the skill I had. So instead of 1%, it would be 2% plus 300. Instead of elemental attack by 2%, be 4% plus 600. So if I had that skill, I probably would have beat him faster, okay? But it still drops my BR. It kind of helped my defense. I didn't lose as much health, but it, it was negligible comparatively. So I'm just gonna keep her on for right now because I really don't, I really don't care either way. I'm trying to get her up to rank four, so every single time I get any possible uh, uh, red fragment, pet fragments, I just throw them into Freezy or Raphael because I'm trying to get him up to at least rank two. So um, that is my Legacy of Discord video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please make sure you hit the links below. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel all right so that i can continue to make content for you guys all right sound good um thank you and this is greg and i'm out <laughs>